Hey, hello, what's up? This is Sane, doing part two of my Black Flag walkthrough for Assassin's Creed. i never been here in a week because I got very sick. I, had, I was undergoing a flu that I had, and it hit me pretty hard Tuesday night. That was the day after I did my first recording. And it's weird because I actually... I got 100% here on uh, Hannah that day after, which only took an hour or two, and then... Uh, yeah, the flu just hit me harder. Um, I also found a treasure chest. I don't think it shows the treasure chest anymore. Still kind of recovering from the flu because uh, I had a, an awful sore throat all of a sudden that never went away, and it's still kind of here, but it's it's actually gone now, so that's actually good. I thought it was something worse. You never want to look up on the internet what you have because they give you all these other scenarios and stuff that are just like why, you know. Okay, so uh, I got better swords. I bought better swords. I've got all the chests, song sheets. I have no idea what song sheets do. Uh, secrets. Secrets are like these little tiny books that you find, like treasure chests. They're usually guarded, like codex pages from the original. Hey, it's, there's a storm. Wow. Storming for the first time here. Usually there's like tornadoes and shit that come in. And there's storms. I want to see if we can see some water sprouts out there. Is that water sprouts? Oh, that's a ship. Sometimes we could see water sprouts. Hope we don't get electrocuted by the lightning. The ghost ship has arrived. I was coming here to show you that there was a treasure chest here that I pulled up from the ground. Somewhere. I don't know if it saved the location. It's here. Like right here somewhere. I want to actually show you a video. Fucking lets me. Okay. Um. I mean, it doesn't let me, so whatever. Let's keep going. The treasure chest was lit there. You just press Y. There's gonna be a map of like that tower over there, and yeah, just letting you know because I said I would do it during the video and. I, I was hesitant to do off. So. Wow, what the fuck happened there? Okay. Yeah, so I got 100% HANA, which is actually the capital of Cuba. So, yeah. If you, uh. grab these things early on in the game, there's a missable achievement if you hire 150. And distract, d distract a group of pirate hostages, you get a rare achievement. Make sure to do that. If you drink, 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 all the way through on the tavern, you get another secret rare achievement, which you could do, which is actually a secret achievement, because it's a secret achievement. Get, you wake up in a haystack. Hangover, hungover. Por eso tus manos son tan insensibles. Qué pena. 
pasar por lo pendiente. No puede estar bien. Start mission and my sugar. Sorry about the swift exit. Bit of a misunderstanding. One heap to put another. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar. But when your dispatches. Damn! And where have they gone? Haven't the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is wee mal dad, so I'd, I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. Okay, I guess it's like a, uh... Hire dancers to distract guards. Synchronization. Eagle vision. Eagle vision. Okay, he's just telling me what eagle vision does. You don't mind me tagging along, do you? Not if you keep quiet and stay out of sight. Body tail. I believe I'm getting the hang of this. Quiet. I fear they're onto us. Hang back. Where at Camelos, the Pistilia, Bernard. Ooh, perhaps we should split up to confuse them. The best idea you've had today. Buenos dias, senores. You're late. Yes, sir. See, uh, we are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. Dukit Sapion Gobes, Vestry Strug. Tamparum This would be Captain Mendoza? Yes, sir. He's very excited to meet you, only he must be present for a, a, a hanging, senor. Hanging? Oh, I love a good hanging. Yes, sir. Very nice. If we hear the bell, we may go, if you like. I'd love to. Is this, is this a guard? Captain Mendoza's pulling the tram. Oh, that owes me yes. money for the slaves I sold him. Of course, sir. Captain Mendoza is happy to pay you. We have goods to sell, sugars and such. Excellent. There's a guard on the roof here. <coughs> Fuck. Be started soon. Let's not dilly dally. Yes, sir. We go. Let's not dilly dally. These guys don't look bad. <laughs> I got spotted. Almost there. Just turn around, I'm fucked. Gotta keep my distance. It's really hard to move in this Assassin's Creed. This way. This way. There's no like medium motion. Oh my goodness, dude.
And how long will this hanging take, ma'am? I don't mean to hang about all day for the captain. Quick as anything, sir. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man, then he will deliver your payment. I don't want reales, mind. I want goods. Things I can sell. Tobacco, rum, sugar. See, si, see. Si. We have much fine sugar. Grades we took off a fat Englishman last night. Englishman? For el delito de motín contra tu si. capitán, el sugar from Barbados. Very fine. We orca. hold it in the Castillo after the man started the fight last night. He ran, left his sugar behind. Very fine. Well, that's a start. Shall I accompany him to the Castillo? No, sir. Captain Mendoza will have it sent to you, I believe. You will see. Good lord. Is that big brute your Captain Mendoza? No, sir. He is El Tiburón. El Tiburón, Governor Torres' man. Is that the target right there? Kill the captain. Which one? I'm guessing it's that guy on my radar. He's gonna look back. I have a feeling he's gonna look back. I'm gonna hide behind this pole. Can I hide behind? Fuck you. Can I not hide behind? There's a lot of soldiers here. Steal the key. Son of a bitch. Where's the key? Where's the key? Stay out of combat, he says. Now I've... Now what does stay out of combat actually mean? I don't understand. There's a guy looking at me. 
Quédate donde estás. Tengo un disparo. Stop. I don't want to. guy has an automatic Try to confuse them, son of a bitch, dude. What a stupid fucking game. So I know where to go. How the hell am I gonna get there now? What up, baby detective? Alto ahí! Tú vuelve aquí ya! El canalla intenta escapar! Pronto estarás muerto y enterrado! ¿Eh? ¿A dónde te crees que vas? Un momento. He's just checking the grass. I was out of combat, I didn't fight, if that's what the game means. I don't know how we're gonna carry the sugar. Where do we go? Fuck off! Stop it! <sighs> now did I meet my optional objective or no? Like, I'm really confused. Is that my ship? the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. 
Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no, no, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, That's our bonnet. True. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. The governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Okay, apparently... Staying out of combat means that if I get detected, it doesn't count. So if I want to give you my honest rating, I will give it a three stars. Because you have to be more specific. You know what I'm saying? I stayed out of combat. I didn't fight. You should. Uh, it should have been, instead of saying stay out of combat, you should do not be detected. Because if you get detected, you, you get in combat. You know what I'm saying? And then it didn't even like blur it out. It didn't even say failed or anything like that. So I thought that was pretty stupid. So I give it a three stars because uh, I didn't like it. Sorry. This is an old game, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's a good game. I like it. Just synchronization shouldn't even be a thing if it's going to be that broken. Do not tell me what it to actually do, you know. But for next time, there's an achievement tied to that, so off Let's Play, I'll just do that on my own time. But until then, I'll just enjoy the game. And complete it in a Let's Play format. So we're gonna go meet the governor, because remember, we're, uh, fraudulently uh, stole someone's identity, and now being him, in order to save our skin. Now I'm guessing this guy wants to know... Uh, so I'm guessing he's trying to get back to his homeland, obviously. Because, uh, he has a wife, remember, in the beginning of the game. And so, that's gonna be the whole mission, for him to get back there. So he needs a ship. So he was asking the other guy, how long are you going to be here? A couple of weeks, and then he's probably going to use his ship. And he... I don't know. And the game takes alternate paths. I don't really remember the game. I know you could, it becomes an open world game. I'm going to go into the map here so you can see how big it is. I'm literally, you literally get to go everywhere in the game and conquer this entire regional... It's like all the Caribbean islands right here. And it's a, just a gigantic game. And we're going to cover every bit of it. So yeah. That's what my let's play is, so uh... Don't expect this to be like... I don't think this is going to be 58 parts. I would say maybe a good 30 parts, at least. This is such a long game, right? So... And plus I'm going to get 100% completion. And 100% exploration. So... It's gonna be even better. Orferta! Oh, I know a little bit of Spanish. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Entre, por favor. Bon dia, hey. ¿Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. It's not even fair, because I know a little bit of Spanish, so I could, like... Uh... Go in. 
le suponía un aspecto más respetable. Lleva meses en alta mar. Sí, gente con él. They're very suspicious. That's all they're kind of saying. And they're, they're did you hear about the assassino and all this other stuff? <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are gun? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julien Ducas. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like, get a feel for it. <laughs> mm. I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim, sadly. <laughs> Quite. Good kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets, and not the opposite. I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique! I'm not understanding. Okay, I thought there was an auto. Challenge? All right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Son of a bitch. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Where are the other targets? Come on, reload! Son of a bitch, dude. Fucking... <sighs> An off day, Duncan. Well, sorry, your fucking guns are garbage because they take five hours to reload. All right. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Finally. I'm not used to this at all. Where do I go now? Challenge this guy? Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. <laughs> Two blades, as is the custom, we? Eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your... Techniques. 
Well, I... Uh... We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, show you what I know. Here. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go. A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose. Just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? God, that's the spirit! Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. God blind me, that's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Magnifique. Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Mon Dieu, such a powerful strike! Fascinating! Let's continue. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados... <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here, in Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. I'm guessing that's where he's from. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See, you were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir, I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last. And in such continental company, England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, 
hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like, a device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery, only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall. Clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. What a fucking evil piece of shit, sir. I mean, it was better. Oh no. Oh no. Rest Come well, on, Duncan. game. Tomorrow the treasure fleet oh, arrives why? and with it your reward. After why? which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing to